So you've spotted a wombat that you suspect has mange. Maybe it was out during the daytime, or maybe it was missing fur and itching a lot. Now, the clock is ticking. We know that mange is a death sentence for wombats without treatment. So what are the next steps? Immediately report the wombat to your local mange treater group, wildlife rescue group, or an organization like WISE. Include as much information as possible in your report, including photos of the animal, a GPS pin location of where you saw it, and even the time of day of sighting. These groups can send out trained volunteers to treat the wombat for mange. Be sure to be on call for any more information they might need, but other than that, your work here is done. If you live in an area that has wombats, or you own land that wombats live on, then you might want to treat mange yourself. There are a number of ways to get licensed to legally treat mange and wombats. Often, it's as simple as doing some quick online training that will teach you how to do it in the safest and easiest way possible. Treatment will involve regular doses of topical medicine over a series of weeks or months until the wombat is cured. Exactly how long and what dosage depends on the permit that you apply for. And while there are a number of different permits out there, just know that whatever permit you choose is the right one. Check out the resources I've linked to find out how to become a licensed mange treater. So you've done the training. Now it's time to cure that wombat. And trust me when I say it's really as simple as following what you learned in training to a T. Does your permit call for X amount of medicine to be poured onto the wombat once a week? Please do exactly that until the wombat is cured. Don't underdose, don't skip a week, don't start to get lazy when the wombat starts to look a little better. Make a commitment to yourself and to that little creature that you will finish its full course of treatment and save it from mange. With that being said, there are a few hacks you can use to make treatment a breeze. Use trail cameras to monitor the wombat when you're not around. If your permit allows for it, use burrow flaps to passively apply treatment. This is perfect for when wombats return to nocturnal behavior, but still haven't finished their full treatment regime yet. Don't do it alone. There are hundreds of volunteers across Australia that can offer physical help and words of advice. If you're unsure about something, reach out to some of the contacts that I've linked or just DM me. Help is only a click away. I hope you learned a thing or two about treating mange today. Be sure to chuck me a follow for more wombat content. And if you've come here after seeing a mangy wombat, please don't click on another video. Report it immediately.